life and liberty We're all created equally in America And we're going to live here happily in America Our founding fathers crossed the seas And built the new world colonies The King George wouldn't set them free So they fought a revolution the American Hi, my name's Diane. Thank you so much for joining us. Each week we introduce the home viewer to different crafts and hobbies that can be enjoyed by people of all ages. And uh, we invite different artisans in from the community. This week we have inv invited Jared Brandenburg in. Hi, Jared. Hi, Diane. And this is your first time on our show. Oh, yes. Great. Yep. Well, before we get started, we like to look in the camera and give special hellos to special people. Is okay. there anybody you'd like to say hello to? Oh, uh, let's say hello to my friend Joy Harkness that lives just down the street a ways here. Okay. And she's my gym partner, and uh, at Go's Gym, we, we I met I met her there, and uh, Joy and I go dancing every every weekend. Oh, how wonderful! And I'd like to say hello to my brother David Miller. He lives in Tacoma. Hi, David. And I'd also like to say hi to my special friend, Mr. Feeney. Hi, Mr. Feeney. So with that, let's get started. Okay, that's fine with me. And we're going to be, we opened on a shot of this airplane. What is this airplane made of, Jared? This is made out of uh, pop can. Well, this, this particular one's made out of beer cans, but you can make them out of any kind of pop or beer cans that are made out of aluminum or metal or steel, which which I have made them in England out of steel cans, but you don't want to do it because steel rusts, and the one I made finally just rusted and fell apart. Oh, so aluminum is a better material. Much better. Now, how did you learn about this process? Uh, I I've s saw them hanging on different uh, RVs when I was traveling, and I thought they'd be something fun to make, and one day when I was looking through one of my uh, catalogs from woodwork for woodworking, I saw these plans for sale, so I sent for them. Oh, okay. But first you saw them, and then you just happened to run into the plans. That's right. That's All right. right. Yep. And you say that it's better to use an aluminum can than a steel yes, can. Yes, right. Yep. All right. And I didn't understand the part about England. Were you well, you were traveling through England? Uh, I was. Uh, my wife is dead, but I was married to an English lady that I had met when I was in the Air Force in England. And so I have relatives over there. Oh. And when she and I would go back for a visit, and it was a part of England that wasn't much to do, so I would take all my tools and parts of the things that when I sat over, I sat over there for a week putting a plane together for my brother-in-law. Oh, how nice. So you have done it. You have experience making these in both steel and, yeah, and aluminum. All right, I see you've got some plans there. Do you yes. want to talk us through this? Okay, these plans I sent for them, and, and uh, I've got a lot of notations on this front one here. As I made, made a lot of these uh, planes, I found a lot of different ways to do a lot easier than by just looking at, at, at this plan. Here's, here's the plan of the... Of the uh, Maybe, uh, yeah, they got that, just hold it. Broken, there broken down. And this you sent away for? Did it cost money? Did you have to yeah, buy it? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe five dollars or something like that. I, I have. I've had it for about 10, 10, 12 10 years. years. Like that. Do you I think a time. person could find this on the internet now? I, I wouldn't be a bit surprised. I, I don't know. I don't have an internet myself. I don't. I'm not a computer man, so okay. I, I have no idea. And there's actually a name. It says WM700 airplane. Aluminum can windmill. Yeah. Why? What's well, the windmill? Well, they use the term windmill for all these whirly gigs and things that people make out of wood and things. That, it's a whirly mm -hmm. gig, so they call them windmills because the only thing that oh. actually re revolves is, is the propeller. But and that propeller does move, so it's kind of yeah, so a you, whirly gig. You, you hang it, you hang it, and then the wind blows. Oh. And it makes the propeller go around. Okay, so it's not something that just looks pretty on your mantle. No, no, no. But you can hang no. these outside. What yeah. a fun gift. And it can't, probably doesn't cost much money to make. Oh, uh, no. 
after, after you get the cans. I mean, that's the enjoyable part of it, especially if you're a beer drinker, you gotta drink yeah. all the beer first. Right, <laughs> my brother likes to drink Dr. Pepper, so uh, maybe Dr. after Pepper, he drinks sure. his Dr. I, Pepper, I, he can make one I need about 15 cans to make a pint. About 15 cans, yeah. okay. Yeah. Are they all the same size, or can, do they? Yeah, they're all, they're, they're all the same size, except okay. I, to make, to make a little bit more authentic on the wheels now, I've gotten these small, tomato juice cans, oh. and then so I put them instead of the big ones, and it okay. ma makes it look a little bit, because you know, most airplanes have smaller wheels than the rest of the, All right. of the plane. So those are a little bit um, those, larger those, than yeah, those scale. Yeah, those are made out of, out of cans like this. Okay. So, now, to me, those directions look complicated, but well, they're not? No, not, not really. See, they, they have that, then you come over here, and it tells you about tell, uh, how you how you put everything together, and what what I what I did to make it a lot easier instead of using the the plans and and doing everything, I made a bunch of cardboard templates. Oh. And from the, the, these, when I get the unfortunately I didn't bring a can along, but but anyway, when I, when you get these cans, the first thing you you have to do. So you got a plenty of material to wor work with. You have to get a knife. Oh, that's so just a standard and, and steak knife. Yeah, it's it's actually a fillet knife for for fishing. Okay, and so, so it's pretty so sharp. I won't hurt, hurt myself. Okay. And then you have to cut cut along here and along here to to get to get uh, the can. Then you then you cut, cut them down. And then eventually, then you you straighten them out, oh. and then, then you trace then you trace these wings on, like this wing on on okay. a can on a on a can. So may I reach? I want to grab this this template that you made. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let let's see. I want to make sure our viewers are understanding this. Let's hold okay. this up, okay, Jared? Sure. So you take a can, you cut the ends off, you stretch it out, and then you put this template. It fits yeah. on there? Yeah, well. And then do you trace you, around you, that with a no. pencil or something? After, after you cut it off, then you have to take a pair of scissors, and then you you cut the can. Okay. So, so when you get done, it's laid out flat. Laid out flat. Laid out flat. Then you, then you put this put this on. But how do you get this on. image on here? Do you trace it somehow? I, I trace it. I okay, trace, with trace just, it with on. what do you trace it with? Just a regular. Permanent marker or something? Marker. Ah, a Sharpie permanent, marker, permanent yeah. marker. And then you cut it out. And then and this is going out. to be one of the wings. That's going to be half of a wing. That's half of a wing. Yeah. Okay. Here, here is a completed wing. And this is a completed wing. Yeah. All right. That's that's the lower wing. They have upper wing and lower wings. And so you, there's different holes for different things, so you have to make sure that you have the right one. Okay. The right one made. So let's go ahead with this. So that's how you make the wing. And mm -hmm. the wing is usually the first first part that you make, or uh, does that matter? It doesn't make any difference, no. Okay. I, I usually trace everything out, then I, then I cut cut everything. Oh, okay. Piece by piece by, uh, and then, and then after I get all these, then all these, all these different plans here tell about the different ways to make it. Now, here's, here's the one, when you make, make the, the propeller, this, this propeller uh -huh. will be, look just like this one here when I get it all done. Can we can we do that right yeah, now well, on the we can show? Do that, sure. May I do that? The first thing you got to do, you got see what it's like. You got to bend all these back, okay. like like that. Completely back. Completely back. Did you straight? Did you score that first? No, nope, you don't want to score. That's just a black mark. Oh, that's this, just a this, black mark. This this is a this is a can on top of a can. Oh. You see, this one is uh, kind of see. There's two there's two cans there. Okay. You have to cut. You have to cut one can at one length, one can another length. Then you take the small can and push it on top of the other one. Oh, I'm not sure I'm seeing that. So that's what that line is. Yeah, this, this is another can. can that's stuck on that on that can there. Okay. Yeah. All right. So then, do you wear gloves to do this? No, just use your not, hands. Too so far. then, do you think that a child, a young child, could do this? Uh, I don't think. Uh, no, no. I, I would, I would no? suggest something in the teenage. A teenage. Method, okay. Yeah, because you got to be careful because you, you can get cut. Have you ever cut yourself doing this? Oh, I've had a few scratches. Yes, okay. a few slivers from real tiny bits of metal that get into Some my fingers. Teenage. 
This would be a great project for maybe a Boy Scout badge or something. Uh, possibly, possibly, yeah. Okay. And, I'm, and am, I do, am I doing this right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're just going to use you know, I would bend think, it back straight. Okay, yeah. I would mm -hmm. think it'd be easy to cut yourself doing this. But. Okay, I'm going to turn this so the camera can see. And this is the propeller I'm making. And there's actually two cans here, if I'm right. Jared yeah. says that you put... Yeah. You have one, put, um, one can that's an inch long, yeah. and the other can's two and a half inches long. Okay. And, and then, then what I use to do to make it stick together, I put I use always five minute epoxy glue to oh. put inside there. Then when I squeeze it together, they'll stay. Okay. All right. Now, how did you cut these lines so straight? With a pair of scissors. Did, did you draw a line? Well, act, mm -hmm. actually. What, what I do is once once I get get that I like thought before I cut it, I have wide masking tape that I put around it. And then I stick this this piece of a, a thing that boy my wife was a seamstress and so she had a lot of these. Mm -hmm. And you slip this on the bottom of it here. Try to get on the bottom of there. Anyway. And then each each blade is nine oh. sixteenths. So you count, oh, okay. count you come. There's you start out with a mark here, then you go one, two, three, four, five. So you did and, measure. And then I make yeah, you know, I measure. Then I make a little tip. Yeah, because these are yeah. pretty evenly spaced. I was yeah. wondering yeah. how you yeah. did that. All right, so And then when you get done, All right. then I have a method where I lay them down with a with a uh, square. Okay. And hold them down, place them, and then I'll draw the lines. And then when I get done, then I cut them. All right. So now we're done with the propeller. Not We've quite. got the wings. Now um, what can we do? Now, th now this propeller has to look like that one there. All right. So to do that, you have to get a pair of pliers. And you come over here and you put them down here on a 45 degree angle and go like that. Okay. May I do that now? Sure. Let's see when you get done. It's going to look like that. Okay. And just, just. So you just eyeball the forty-five degree. Yeah, just eyeball it. Yeah. What I, what I usually do is once I get one down, then I just got to use the other ones. You can use it. Like I say, just, just kind of eyeball. You put that tip right in, right in there. Got it. And then, you, then press it back. Okay. And that's going to be the part of our plane that actually moves. That's right. right. That's, that's the windmill. That's the windmill. That's right. Is that that's okay? the way down. Yep, that's fine. Yeah, yep, yep. Don't bend it too far because we have to straighten them up to make sure that they're in the right okay. in the right order. So when the wind hits it, you know. So then it'll what else could we be doing while wow, I'm doing okay, this? Okay, while you're doing that, now I can take and put this other wing together. Okay. And to do that I have your cuts. You got all these tabs here on both both sides, top and bottom. And so when you put them together, you, they'll they'll slip in the in the right slot and get ready to make make the wing. So uh, what I have to do, I have to work that one in there, that one in in there, yeah, in there. Come and over on this side. Yeah, and that was a template that you made. That right. And then, then, you, then you have to slip these tabs in on this this side. The only trouble is that you're putting them in a different side, so they slip out the other side. Then you got to go back and do it over again. If you're, unless you're not, I got fairly lucky that time. So this is kind of a, a back and forth process until you get all these tabs in here. Because you gotta get them in there and line everything up straight before you before you bend them over. Yeah. 
So you have to uh, be pretty meticulous about how you right, cut like, that so it lines uh, up all right. Like, okay. Like, like, like this one here, I get you got to get in the center, and I'll. Now how are you going to get that to stay? Well, you know, right now because it's ah, coming apart. See, I fold that over like that. Ah, little tabs. And then then I take these tabs on this side. I put them in there. Boy, these would be great um, holiday gifts for people. I did. I uh, one one year, uh, my wife and I, we always had the the whole family over at our place for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And so one year, I started early, and I made about ten of them. Oh my goodness! And I had them all uh, uh, sitting on the bed in the spare bedroom. Uh huh. And when it came come time to give gifts out, I started out with the youngest and and had made them from all di all different kind of pop cans, so there's uh -huh. all different colors, and oh, I'll, I'll let each, each one pick out what they might oh, want. Oh, how nice. It'd be fun, too, if you knew the person's favorite, you know, pop yeah, yeah, yeah. or beer and to make it out of their favorite cans. And, and that's oh. what, I, what, I, what, I've, what I've done for other people. I some oh. had a friend that wanted out of classic Coke cans. So yeah. I made out of that. And somebody wanted them wow. out of Mountain, two, Mountain Dew cans, yeah. so I made them out of that. Oh, how but, neat. Uh, Okay, so now we've got anyway, two wings this, and this, the propellers. This wing is almost made. To make it sturdy, though, mm -hmm. you have you have this rod here, which there's some right here, that you lay in here. Then you have to fold this edge over okay. to, to make it sturdy. All right. Do you want me to work on that? And no, can it, I work no, on it? no it's, it's pretty tedious. All right. Yeah, this is not something that... Do you think we'll be able to complete the point? during this program? Uh, I doubt it because there's quite a bit quite a We've quite a bit ten more quite minutes. a bit to do. Ten more minutes? Yeah. Well, ten, more, ten more minutes is not gonna do it. Well let's do as much as we can. Okay, okay? I think now, our viewers I'll, would like to see that. I'll, I'll show you how these wings go go in here. This is this is the, the front can as you can see this is where the propeller's gonna go. Okay. And I've put that in there, locked it locked it down. I won't cut it off until I until I get all done. And then you, you cut you. Well, let's see. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going. Going to have to. Have, you have to. This, like I say, this is the bottom wing, and, and you got those slots. Slots cut there, so you have to slip that through there. But before you can before you can do that, you have to put the landing gear on, and so the landing gear goes like that, and these have to go into into these slots. Oh, so you've cut all these slots on the. Uh, so you got to cut those slots on the main body on, of the plane. On the plane, yeah, we got got all the slots in there. Would you call that the fuselage of the plane? Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, and then, and then you got to reach reach inside here and tab it over again. And, right. So I. So there's not I, a lot of glue. I use, I use my knife to do it. You got to reach down there because there's 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 two of them. You can't. Uh, so you got to spread one one way and one the other way. Okay. Otherwise, it'll come out. Okay. And so it's, it's it's tedious to to do that. It's tedious. Not a lot of glue, yeah. but a lot of tabbing, but, a lot of cutting. I'll have to do this later on because it's it's going to be too 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 much to do right now. To see, see. you got to bend one one way. And I one, could try and, and do that. Way. Do you want me to do that while you do something else? How long does it normally take you to do one beginning to end? Oh. About a week. About a week. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If I worked on it eight hours a day, I might be able to get one in in two days. To, two two day, days. In, so about know, sixteen hours. Yeah. Now. In in done. But it, you know, it's being retired. I I take my time. Do you want me to work on that no, while this, you do this, something this, else? This is not going to fit right there. The wire is not bent right. Okay. But anyway, you put you put those on first, and then. Then you take the lower wing here and line it up straight here. Because this is the top, this will be the bottom. And these have to slide through like that. Well, that part
part doesn't look too difficult. Not, not too bad. We might, we might end up making a play with a plane without landing gear. How's that sound? Why don't we do that? I'd like to finish something because that's okay. That's what our show's all about, kind of showing our viewers how. So we'll just do it without the landing gear. That'll be fine. They should probably practice that before they. Yeah, we got a plane right there, actually. And then, like I say, to 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 to. to, to do it right, then you have to put the struts in here to, to hold it together because okay. this, this one fits on top here. But without this reinforcement bar in here, it's not going to it's not going to hold okay. right. Okay, can I hold good. this up so so they kind of get the gist sure. of this? All right, this is how far we are, and he's saying Jared's saying that under here, if you can see this to make it more stable, he's put um, what what do you call that? It, it's a copper wire, a copper wire, a copper wire, heavy, heavy copper wire. That yeah. must be hard to roll. That the camera's not picking that up. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah. But it, that, it, so the end isn't sharp. If it were sharp, it would cut somebody anyway. So you've rolled it over just once over that copper wire. Right, right. And then do you use wire cutters to do that, or gloves, or you do well, that by hand? Well, this is cut off by hand. Then, okay. then I have what I have to do. I, 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 take, I take this here and I, I get my. Okay, and then how do we how do we affix um, the propeller? I don't want to go up yeah. the air without showing them that. Too. So you, you, you measure this back a quarter of an okay. inch, and then then you take and uh, take my knife here, and I fold this over the wire. Oh. So this is up. This is a ninety degree angle. Right. You put the wire in there, then you just take and with your fingers and put it over, and then take a, take a block and squeeze it together. Okay. So you don't do it with your hands, you, you use the knife right, or the block right, right. as leverage. And another thing to make things a lot easier, to, to cut the cans and everything, I've made these jigs there to measure the cans right. Why don't you hold those up so the camera can see them? There you go. There I've got, you I've go. got one, one here. This, this is my jig to make my... Oh, no, my, hold it down. Make, there you go. Make, make my there you go. Just propeller. Hold it still. It has the, uh, on one side I got the where, this is the two and a half inch can, and then this is the one inch can, and okay. that makes, that makes two different cans, which when you see on, on the propeller here, uh -huh. are those cans. Now, th and this, this one here is for the lower body can. Okay, now hold that still, because he's trying oh, to get okay. it, uh, there you go, thank you. That's the lower, lower, whoops. Yeah, just hold it still. The, the lower, lower body cam, which is this one right here. Okay. And to, to get, you can see this black mark on this one right here, and that's where I'm going to cut it, and, okay. and then we're going to slide that on there. Okay. Now, to, to cut that. We've got five more minutes. You want to make sure you have good protection. Okay. Because you have to take and put your knife in here and cut very carefully uh, along that that black mark that I've got on there. As you can see, if you don't have a glove or something on, and this knife is very, very sharp. And after you get done cutting 15 ca aluminum cans, it gets, gets That's dull. That's so sharp, yeah. But, uh, what kind of knife did you say it was again? This is, this is a fish fillet knife. Fillet knife. But you can use any, any thin bladed knife. Okay. But see that, and then you want to kind of smooth the edges in, in there because you make a cut edge and it's might hinder you when you start sliding it together. So I just smooth it out with with a, and then to before you do all this, see you have a, you have a tail here that that you got to make, and the tail goes through here like that. And there's your tail. Okay, and then and, that's and then gonna that, go. And that goes in here. Glue it together. Oh. And, this, and that, that goes in there. Would that, that go on the back end right. of this then? Or uh, which end? Where's that kind of going? Then this slips into another, another slot here. And you fold it over. Then you have a rear cop pick. That goes right there. Goes, go, goes in here. Front cop back on there. Then when you get, 
get all that put together, then you take and line this up very, very carefully and 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 squeeze it Shouldn't squeeze it be? together. Okay. You see then then you got the complete com the complete still. body. Now it's starting to look like a plane, so the propeller is going to go on this side. And the propeller go, will go on there, and I have, I have to. I have I have a bead here that reduces the friction on the on, uh, the, on the thing, and also makes it spin that, better. That right, makes it spin better, and I don't even, I don't even know if it's going to go in there. What did you puncture that hole with in the... A nail. Just a nail? Okay. Yeah. What the, tools do you have to own to... Yeah. And the hard thing is do is, yeah. is trying to go, come through the other one, and you can't sometimes... Do you want me to do and, that? And I could probably do unless that. You can, unless you can really see that area like that. Okay, you got it. Then you get that on there and... So what tools, Jerry, does the person need to do this? Now, of, course, of course, the propeller is not the right configuration to catch the wind now because right. it's got to be squeezed down some more. It's got okay. it's got to have the tips cut off. And so there's, right. there's still quite a bit of work left to yeah. do to, to get it to work right. If our home viewers were going to do this, Jared, what, what sure. tools would they actually need to have? Well, the best thing to have, you need, you need a square, you need a, an awl, you need a knife, you need scissors. Okay. And Ply, pliers are around here someplace. I think I've got I think you got the pliers. Yeah, needle, I need, 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 pliers. need pliers. Yeah. So it really and isn't the, it expensive. And the uh, sharpie. Sharpie, yeah. so permanent marker permanent to marker. Uh, trace things on. And then these, these, these are the uh, struts that you put on here, and they they go top and bottom uh, to hold your wing hold together that like up. that. Okay, we're gonna have to start signing off. And that's so, and like I like I say. It, it's a lot of fun to, to do, uh -huh. and once you get into it and you have all the things to do, and once you do, a th after, you, after you do a five or six of them, then things come a lot easier. It's a lot easier. And, and that's what, how, how, how I made all these different jigs and these templates, because I knew I've got probably over 50 of them scattered all over England, wow. here, here. How exciting uh, that your plane's from England. Different, different states, yeah. Wow. yeah. Well, thank you so much, Jared, for sharing this with us. And we want to um, thank Tom Tabuke, who's directing this, and Steve Elder, who is um, doing sound. Thank you to all three of our cameramen. Hi, Mr. Feeney, and hi, David. I'll do it to copy of the show. Bye. <laughs> and thank you, Jerry. Okay, okay. Glad, yeah. glad. So they fought a revolution, the American Revolution. For oh, we the people here decree, we've the right to life and liberty. We're all created equally in America. And we're going to live here happily in America. The English army came in boats. It was buckskin versus bright red coats. Then the Yankees won the war and wrote our country's constitution, the United States Constitution. For we the people here decree, we the right to life and liberty. We're all created equally in America. And we're going to live here happily in America. the passing years, the pioneers crossed the frontier without rest. Oh, the land was new and this country grew from the east coast to the west.